हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ प्राइमरी चेक पॉइंट पेपर टू फ्रॉम अक्टूबर 2022 सो इन द प्रीवियस टू वीडियोस वी डिड सम क्वेश्चंस हियर वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अप द रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चंस सो हियर आर द इंस्ट्रक्शंस यू कैन गो थ्रू एंड देन लेट्स स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन कंप्लीट द डायग्राम टू शो फ्रैक्शंस इक्वल एंड टू थ्री बाय फोर सो वी हैव दिस डायग्राम हियर सो थ्री ओवर फोर दैट मींस ऑल दिस फ्रैक्शंस आउटसाइड शोन दे आर इक्वल एंड टू दिस लाइक हियर द वन इज डन ऑलरेडी सो इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई हियर बाय टू अप हियर थ्री टाइम्स टू गिव्स यू सिक्स फोर टाइम्स टू गिव्स यू एट सो दैट मीन्स यू मल्टीप्लाइड न्यूमिनेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर बाय टू नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन हियर सो यू सी वी हैव इन द न्यूमिनेटर फिफ्टीन सो थ्री ओवर फोर टाइम्स फाइव विल गिव यू फिफ्टीन थ्री टाइम्स फाइव इज फिफ्टीन सिमिलरली फोर टाइम्स फाइव इट विल बी ट्वेंटी right same we have to do here in this case we have 3 over 4 you see 3 over 4 so an equivalent fraction here is 12 so how are you getting 12 here by multiplying here by 3 so same we will do up there so that means we are multiplying throughout by 3 so 3 times 3 it will give you 9 here so 9 will come here the next 3 over 4 we have 30 in the numerator so that we are going to get by times 30 3 times 10 is 30 similarly 4 times 10 will be 40 now here this side numerator is 100 100 divided by 4 is 25 so that means we are multiplying numerator denominator by 25 so same you have to do for the numerator so 25 times 3 it is 75 so you see this is how we are going to complete this diagram now number 22 here are four statements about fractions and percentages tick the statement that are correct cross the statement that are not correct right so 1 over 100 is equal to 1% so 1 over 100 is equal to 1% so is that correct so this one here is 1 so 1% can be written as 1 over 100 so they are equal so yes that is correct 1 over 3 equals to 30% so let's see is 1 over 3 equals to 30% if i take here uh, if we divide this one uh, by uh, let me do this here 1 over 3 so if i divide 1 over 3 by using calculator is coming uh, 0.333 okay uh, which is uh, not terminating then 30 over 100 30 over 100 is going to be 0.3 it is terminated there is no further number here so this is just 0.3 and this is 0.333 so that means they are not equal now 5 over 10 is equal to 5% so 5% is 5 over 100 and this is 5 over 10 they are not equal so 3 over 4 is equal to 75% 75% is 75 over 100 so multiply by divide by 25 25 times 3 25 times 4 so 3 over 4 3 over 4 they are equal so yes it is correct now we have here is an abacus you can see beads here complete the calculation to show the number represented on the abacus so here we have you see 9 so how many beads 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so this is 9 here we have 4 here we have 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 and this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 and 8 Eight again, and here we have two. Uh, so we have to complete this one here. You see, eight, then eighty, then here it is two, then hundred. It's on hundreds place, so it will be two hundred, right? Then thousands, four thousand, uh, ten thousands here. Now that means ninety thousand. That's hundred thousand means two hundred thousand. So two now and one, two, three, four, five zeros. One, two, three, four. And five, so it is two hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, right? Now number twenty-four. 
um, the table shows the heights of five plants in centimeters um, plant a plant b and this is the height in centimeter calculate the mean height of the plant so we are going to add all of them and divide by 5 so if we add here 6 plus 4 is 10 10 plus 5 15 15 plus 7 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 plus 8 is 30 so 3 3 plus 2 5 6 3 9 9 plus 5 14 14 plus 6 14 plus 6 is 20 then 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 120 so the total is 120 so for mean we are going to take 120 divided by there were 5 plants right so 5 so 5 times 2 24 so answer is 24 centimeters Number 25, here is a part of a sequence, write the missing numbers in the box. Now, let's see how we are going to get the next one. Uh, when you add here 2, you got 3. Then 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10, right? Then 10 plus, it should be, you see the pattern, 1 more than the previous one. So, this was plus 4, now it will be plus 5. So, this is going to be 5, then plus 6 is 21 then plus 7 it is 28 right so that's how we can complete this one now here we have angelic uses three identical rectangles to make a square so he is making a square using these rectangles and uh, the perimeter of the square is 24 centimeter write the area of the square now perimeter of the square we know that perimeter of square is 24 centimeter and the formula is 4 times side right 4 times side is 24 centimeter so one side is going to be 24 divided by 4 that is 6 centimeters so once we got the side then we can find out the area so area is side times side right so that means uh, 6 times 6 that is 36 so this is 36 centimeter square now question 27 apples cost 40 cents each apples cost 40 cents each oranges cost oranges cost 30 cents each gabriella buys six apples and some oranges she pays dollar 5 and receives 5 50 cents change write how many oranges gabriella buys see uh, now see here uh, she buys uh, gabriella buys six apples and some oranges so she bought six apples so each apple cost 40 cents so cost of six apples is going to be 40 cents uh, times six so that is six times two uh, 6 times 4, 24, 240. So, this we can write into uh, dollars that means 0 0.40. So, this is going to be 2.40 dollars, right? Now, the cost of remaining is going to be cost of the oranges, but she paid dollar 5 and receives 50 cents. So, uh, what the total amount that she paid? total amount paid is dollar 5 minus 0 0.5 cents so that means she spent in total dollar 4.50 right so she spent 2.40 on apples so remaining the cost of apples co sorry cost of oranges is going to be dollar 4.50 minus dollar 2.40 so this is dollar 2.1 so the question is right how many oranges she bought she bought like uh, for this much so number of oranges are going to be number of oranges is 2.10 divided by the cost so let's say that is 0 0.30 so this is going to be 7 so she bought 7 oranges right 
now number 7 uh, sorry 28 write 7 over 8 as a decimal so 7 we are dividing by 8 so uh, first of all so a, 7 is less than 8 so we can't it cannot go there and uh, so we can write decimal and 0 so, so 8 times 8 is 64 8 times 9 is 72 8 times 8 8 times 8 is 64 we can add as many zeros as we want after the decimal, right? So now we subtract 6, then drop down 0, 7, 56, minus 4, then again drop down 0, 8 times 5 is 40. So this is 0 here. So final answer is 0 0.875, writing as a decimal. Here is a 1 kilogram box of rice. This is 1 kg box of rice. It's full. Eva takes some rice out of it. Estimate how much rice is left in the box. It is estimation. No exact answer. You can see this if you divide this like maybe uh, into 4 parts here. Like see 1, 2, 3. So I can see uh, maybe 500 kilogram, uh, 500 grams here. Then this may be 750, this is 250. So approximately your answer may be 750 grams or it may be 800 grams. So uh, that there is no exact answer actually. So it can range between 750 to 800 grams. So now let's see next one. This is the last question of this paper. Uh, before we do this, I would request you guys to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you so much for your support so please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and press the like button if you like the video so that means a lot to me I will wait for your response so let's start here we have question on calendar here is the calendar of for June and August June and August complete this statement for July so June July and then August so there are dash uh, we are looking for Ju uh, June. After June there is. So July is here. I can make calendar. Uh, so if the June 30th. 30th June is. Uh, this is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So that is Saturday right. So we can write down here Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So 30th June is Saturday. So 1st of July will be Sunday. Then here we can continue 4, 5, 6, 7. So complete this statement for July. There are dash Saturday. So let's complete this one first. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 and 31st. 31st you see is Tuesday. The next day is 1st of August is Wednesday. So that's correct. So the question is there are dash Saturdays. How many Saturdays we have in July? 1, 2, 3 and 4. There are 4 Saturdays, right? Then the first day of the month is this one which is Sunday. The last Sunday in the month is dash July, the last Sunday. So Sundays are here, so last Sunday is going to be this one. So that is 29th of July, right? So that's it for this question. I hope you guys understood. For that, we have to make the calendar. You have space here. So we can just uh, do this one so that uh, there is no mistake. Uh, no chance of mistakes uh, so you see this is how you are going to complete this is two marks question so that's it for this uh, paper i hope you guys understood everything and let me know in the comment section if there is anything please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends thank you so much guys for watching see you in the next video